Alright boys and girls, today I'm going to show you how to SSH into your iPod. So, if you don't know what SSH is, it basically allows you to access the innards of your iPod or iPhone through your wireless network. So imagine this as a wireless flash drive, alright? So, you need to know how to SSH because this is a very important thing that you need to learn if you want to customize themes, etc., or add applications that you can't download from Cydia, and so forth, alright? So, there are three prerequisites for SSH into your iPod. The first prerequisite is having an iPod or iPhone. Pretty sure many of you have that. Alright? Second prerequisite, you're going to want to have jailbroken broken your iPod or iPhone. Pretty sure a lot of you have too. So, now to the third part. You're going to want to go to Cydia. Now you're going to go to Feature Package. You want to go all the way down, all the way down, yes, okay. So, go to open SSH and install it, simple as that. For the sake of the tutorial, I've already installed it. So, now you go to your computer, alright. I will be putting a link to where you can download WinSSP. So, you just click on the link. It brings you to sourceforge.net and it clicks up a little pop up. It says save WinSCP. Double click this, run it. Alright, install it. It says English, click yes. Blah blah, it's how you install it, right? So, I've already installed this, so I'm not going to install it again. I'm pretty sure many of you have common sense to know how to install things. So, after you install it, you're going to want to restart your computer. And now you're going to have an option that says WinSCP right here. It looks like a little computer thing with... I have no clue what that looks like, honestly. So, now you open this, and it asks for a host name, port number, username, and password. Those are the four things that you need to focus on. Port number should be set at 22. Alright, for a host name. Host name, you're going to retrieve from your iPod. You're going to go to settings, the general settings. You're going to go to Wi-Fi. And if you notice on the right side of the Wi-Fi network, there's a green, I mean blue arrow. And it's going to say IP address subnet. So, the IP address is your host name. For the reason I'm not showing this, I really don't know. Some people are really good at hacking. Maybe you can hack my career, but no, not going to let you. Alright, so enter your IP address into the host name. So, I'm just going to back out so you can't see it. And enter it in. Alright, so next part is going to ask for a username and password. Username is going to be root. R-O-O-T. I didn't make this password up. Crap. Alright, your password is going to be Alpine. So now you're going to want to save this. Click OK. Now it's going to ask you to log in. Alright, it says searching for host, connecting to host, authenticating, username, root. Now you can enter the password that you just entered, Alpine. And congratulations, now you can access the inside of your iPod. As you see on the right side, it says media library. Alright, so, I'm going to teach you a little basics of how to navigate through your iPod. This dot 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 means go up. Now there's tons of stuff, alright? So, I'm going to make more videos on how to add ROMs or mess around with themes. So, thanks for watching. This is how you set up WinSCP and use an SSH into your iPod. Alright, subscribe.